Uh, since last year and since Google I.O., we've been working hard continuing our shift from a mobile first to an AI first world. We are rethinking all our core products and working hard to solve user problems by applying machine learning and AI. That house, you know, that's what we see from Street View. I think as humans, it's probably pretty hard. Maybe one or two of you can spot it out. But our computer vision systems, thanks to machine learning, can pick it out, identify the street number, and start mapping, mapping the house. So we approached Legos completely differently. We deployed machine learning from the ground up. We again use machine learning. We understand location data. We try to understand patterns, our cars circling around. And the color shows the density of parking. And we can analyze it throughout the day and predict parking difficulty. And then Google Maps give you options. A simple example, but it's the kind of everyday use case for which we are using machine learning to make a difference. With the power of machine learning on our neural machine translation, we serve over 2 billion translations in many, many languages every single day. This is why we are excited about the shift from a mobile first to an AI first world. It is not just about applying machine learning in, in our products, but it's radically rethinking how computing should work. At a higher level, in an AI first world, I believe computers should adapt to how people live their lives rather than people having to adapt to computers. And so we think about four core attributes as part of this experience. First, people should be able to interact with computing in a natural and seamless way. Mobile took us a step in this direction with multi-touch. But increasingly, it needs to be conversational, sensory. We need to be able to use our voice, gestures, and vision to make the experience much more seamless. Second, it is going to be ambient. Computing is going to evolve beyond the phone, be there in many screens around you when you need it working for you. Third, we think it needs to be thoughtfully contextual. Mobile gave us limited context. You know, with identity, your location, we were able to improve the experience significantly. In an AI-first world, we can have a lot more context and apply it thoughtfully. Finally, and probably the most important of it all, you know, computing needs to learn and adapt constantly over time. It just doesn't work that way today. So we are really excited by the shift, and that's why we are here today. We've been working on software and hardware together, because that's the best way to drive the shifts in computing forward. But we think we are at a unique moment in time where we can bring a combination of AI and software and hardware to bring a different perspective to solving problems for users. And we are very confident about our approach here because we are at the forefront of driving the shifts with AI. Three months ago at Google I.O., our Google AI teams announced a new approach called AutoML. AutoML is just our machines automatically generating machine learning models. Today, these are handcrafted by machine learning scientists. And literally, only a few thousands of scientists around the world can do this, design the number of layers, wait and connect the neurons appropriately. It's very hard to do. We want to democratize this. We want to bring this to more people. We want to enable hundreds of thousands of developers to be able to do it. So we've been working on this technology called AutoML. And just in the past month, for a standard task like image classification, understanding images, our AutoML models are now not only more accurate than the best human-generated models, but they are more resource efficient. So it's pretty amazing to see. We are now taking it a step further. Let me talk about another use case, object detection. When we say object detection, just a fancy name for computers trying to delineate and understand images, being able to draw bounding boxes and distinguish between all the vehicles there, scooters, mopeds, motorcycles, and even pick out the bike in front. 
It has a lot of practical use cases. The Street View example for Legos works based on object detection. Google Lens, which you'll hear about later, as well as our photography in Pixel, uses object detection. This is really hard to do. The best human-generated models we have only have a 39% accuracy. But our AutoML models, as of the past couple of weeks, have, have reached around 43% accuracy. They're constantly getting better. So the rate at which we are seeing progress with AI is amazing, which is why we are really excited about combining it with our software and hardware to bring it together for our users.